Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to the world's least expensive mixed reality setup. That's what I'm sitting in today. It's going to be a premiere feature in a lot of upcoming videos on my channel, both for mixed reality and some vlogs. I'm joined by the ever so annoying Boomy Bandius here, who's really feisty and he wants to play today. Mixed reality gaming is cutting edge, state of the art gaming, the most advanced gaming thing you can possibly do right now. It's so niche that a lot of people may not know what it is, especially Boombi, because you don't know what anything is because you want to eat your feet while I'm making videos. But this is mixed reality. And you get a really good idea of the scale. It's like I'm kind of like trying to poke them here. It's like, period. So it doesn't matter if I'm off camera or off frame or not. I'm going to just draw big dead devil horns up here. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know how this is going to work exactly. I need to set that down fire too. Oh god. Okay, there's about to be too many. Gotta do this. Gotta get some HP back. What's this? Huh? Huh? Who's a good boy? Come get it all the way over there. Yep. And he's going to go get the little stick. And he's going to bring it right back to me. Oh yeah, you're a good dog. Go get that. <laughs> he's a super dog. I do need to be upfront with you here in the beginning of the video that this is a sponsored video. The video is sponsored by ASUS, who sent me their GR8 2 gaming PC, which is kind of the centerpiece of our entire VR mixed reality room today. This is sort of a micro powerhouse computer, but there are some things I need to talk about it. One, so that I can fill my sponsored requirements, and two, so that you know what kind of power you're going to need if you want to try to recreate this setup in your own home. Fine. Come on, Oliver Queen. You failed this city. That's all I hear. Like, when I watch that show, I just think, you failed this city. Like, the city has a report card and it just expects you to do things. So the PC that I use for the whole build, which is basically the centerpiece of the build, is the ASUS ROG GR8 II, who again sponsored this video. There's a link down below in the description down here somewhere you guys can click on to see exactly this model. It's got an Intel Core i7 processor, 7700. This is a box for a 7700K. It's got the regular 7700 in there. Don't worry, that's still plenty beefy. We've got a custom GTX 1060 six gigabyte, which is very nice. You can see the ports on the back. We have three USB three regulars, one USB three C super speed. There's two HDMI's and a display port. So you've got all the ports a sane gamer could use and some extras for VR because I think there's a little sticker on the front. It's got like the little Oculus sticker. It's like VR ready, we're good to go. Or we're definitely gonna be putting it through its VR paces to date. What does this do? Oh, what the what? Hold up. This is a remote control airplane. What? Nobody told me this was in the game. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's that's interesting. I don't know if that's gonna make it in the video, but that's interesting. So in order to do mixed reality, you absolutely have to have a green screen walking space. So I've got the room in my house big enough for me to walk around in and experience VR, and it's all green screen so that you can layer things behind you. Now, I let my brother, who's filming today, pick the image to put behind me. I have no idea what he put back there, but I'm sure that it's, it's gonna be amazing. But you have to be able to do that in order to layer the gameplay behind you. Let's go ahead and turn it off before I lose my mind. Not the camera. Oh, you almost made a boo-boo, but he saved it. Anyway, the green screen here I made with only $20 and green construction paper. There was somebody on Craigslist selling this enormous nine-foot roll of green construction paper for 20 bucks. So I swooped in and like, yes, I'll take your $20 gigantic roll of green screen construction paper. And I used green frog tape and cheap green tacks and I tacked it all up. And I think it keys pretty well. The next thing you're going to need is obviously a VR headset. Unfortunately, Oculus only supports mixed reality for one, maybe like two games, kind of sort of depending. They're expanding it, but right now HTC Vive has native mixed reality support for a lot of games and room scale tracking. So I talked to HTC Vive on Twitter and they were nice enough to send me one free HTC Vive with the trackers and all of the accessories. I'm gonna go ahead and put the trackers over here kind of out of the way. This is a used HTC Vive. Mine has had a lot of love. You can see we've had to put some tape on it 
and a few other places. It's a little bit rough, but even including in the $2,000 build, I'm gonna budget for a used HTC Vive exactly like I have. A used one will run you between $350 to maybe $450, $500-ish dollars, depending on where you buy it from. And this is what you are going to need in order to do mixed reality because you have hundreds of games that support it on the Vive. Dodge, 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 dodge. I don't have a bomb, I don't have a bomb. That's a laser again. It's getting a little bit nutty. It's getting a lot nutty. I just want to detonate the bomb. Oh, that's, I'm just, I'm just jumping to jizzing on everybody now. Just spraying their faces. The last thing you're gonna to need to make is something that you can't really thrift on. You have to build your mixed reality tracking camera, which is gonna require the HTC Vive tracker, which comes in a box kind of like this, to be attached to a camera. Now the tracker is brand new. This used to be for devs only. Typically you would use a third controller and a third controller will work fine, but I got one of these. These are a hundred bucks you're probably not gonna find any used. And you wanna mount them as close as possible to any camera. Since we're doing the world's least expensive setup, we're running it off of a Logitech C920 webcam. Now you're probably wondering what in the hell is up with all the playing cards down here below me, or why they're cut up. Basically, if you can see, there was a lot of empty space here and I couldn't afford to have the tracker bend or break. So I needed to put something in here exactly a certain height, have it be completely incompressible and a certain shape. Foam wouldn't work because it was too squishy and I couldn't make metal or wood work because it wasn't precise enough. So what we did instead is we simply bought playing cards, cut them up, we figured out exactly what shape we needed, exactly how many we needed for the right height. We tied them into a nice little ball and we put them in here as our spacer so that the tracking camera never gets off sync. Cause you have to do a little coding to perfectly kind of sync these up. And if it gets off, it's a complete nightmare. But once you've got this ready, it'll track in three dimensions. But this will actually put objects just kind of in three dimensions, period. So it doesn't matter if I'm off camera or off frame or not. I'm gonna just draw big dead devil horns up here. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know Fire. how and my fire is gonna be solid, um, green almost. And I have made myself a helmet that I can actually just get down, stick my head in, and become one with the game world in ways that you typically couldn't in any other game. So now that we've got it all working, my brother is playing the Vive with the green screen in the background. One other thing that I should probably mention is that you're gonna need some good lighting for the green screen to work. I picked up some of the cheapest lighting I could. These are about 50 or $60 on Amazon. You get three lights, including one super bright one that screws up all of my regular camera work, and this guy over here. We have our custom camera mount working. The green dot means that it's tracking. I'm trying to make it focus here. Yep, the camera is on, working, and tracking. And just to show you that I'm not cheating, because most of these setups require multiple PCs, I have literally everything plugged into the back of the Asus RO8 GR8 II, the Great II. All of the things are working here. As far as accessories go, I did end up getting an extremely inexpensive mouse and keyboard. These are just like used, no-name devices I picked up for nothing. The monitor cost almost nothing. And the editing program, which we are using live right now, is OBS, which is completely free to use. And there's my brother showing off uh, the three-dimensional aspect of mixed reality. Well guys, that's all for the world's least expensive mixed reality setup. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. You can also check out my sponsor Asus, which is linked down there below in the description. And uh, yeah, if you want to, you can check out every single part that I made and maybe build your own. Drifter out.